Hello friends, welcome to Engineer Boy's YouTube channel. My name is Isil Khan and today we are gonna talk about the top 10 interview question that every quantity surveyor should know how to answer. Question number first. What is the difference between quantity surveying and quantity surveyor? Quantity surveying is in order to collect data about materials and costs required for a project. Where a quantity surveyor is a person whose job is to calculate quantities for a project. Or you can say a quantity surveyor is a person who does project estimation or quantity surveying is known by quantity surveyor. Quantity surveyor is also known sometimes by an estimator. Question number second. If you have to estimate a building, what type of data do you need? Necessary data for preparing an estimate of a project is the project specifications, project drawings, and of course the rate of materials. Question number three. Define specification. Specification is just like a document which describes the quality, type, nature, construction method, size, etc. of any material in construction work. Question number 4. What is BBS? BBS stands for bar building schedule which is a way of organizing rebars per each structure unit giving detailed reinforcement requirements which is commonly used by a quantity surveyor, site inspector, steel fixer, contractor who orders reinforcement and something such. Or you can say some other people's. Question number 5. What do you know about material statement? Material statement is a table showing quantity of materials required for a particular work. If you look to the table, the same table represent or shows us the quantities of materials required for a particular work. Just look at to the serial number first. In excavation, the quantity is 4000, the unit is CFT and the white cements, there is no white cements in excavation and there is no sand, budgery, etc. There is nothing in that statement but however, if you look to the serial number 6, that's PCC 136, the quantity is 200, the unit is CFT of course and uh, there is no uh, white cement of course but the sand is available there which is 0.924 secla and then the budgery is also available there there is no brickwork there is no stonework etc so this table shows us the quantities of materials required for a particular work now question number six what is analysis of rate Analysis of rate is a process in which overall cost of any item of work is determined per unit quantity of work. If you look to the same table, this table of course represents the total price in RS of different items or of different construction items. Those are of course determined by me when I was student of uh, third semester I think and I have done a project on quantity surveying. I've taken this table from my notes you can say. So this table represents of course the overall cost of any item of work. Question number 7. What do you know about intermediate point? Intermediate point is a point at which video of depth in cutting or height of pinning is zero. Just look at the same picture. When you are going from pinning to cutting or from cutting to pinning, you can see of course a point over there which does not have cutting or pinning. So the same point may be known by an intermediate point. Question number 8. What do you know about lead? The 
horizontal distance between centroids of the sections of cutting and pinning is known by lead. You can see of course in the diagram. This just represent the pinning and this one represent the cutting. So the horizontal distance between the centroid of these both things is known by lead. Question number 9. Tell us about lift. Lift is actually the same thing as lead. But this is the vertical distance between centroids of the section of cutting and pinning, where the lead is the horizontal distance between centroids of the section of cutting and pinning. And this is just the main difference between lead and left. The left is the vertical distance and the lead is of course the horizontal distance. Question number 10 and this is the last question. Write formula for an area of a circle. The following formula can be used to determine an area of a circle, which is of course A equals pi d square divided by 4 or pi r square. This formula can be used to determine the area of any size circle, where of course A represent area of a circle, D is circle's diameter, and R is circle's radius. Hey, congratulations, you are in. So these are about 10 interview questions which you should know if you are a quantity surveyor. And this is to be continued. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.